Hi, dreamers. I thought I'd do a quick one this weekend, and probably nobody will listen to it after 10,000 people watched my video last weekend. <laughs> but that's okay. Some people tell me they like it when I just talk into the microphone freely. And so that's what I'm going to do today. Just kind of give you a financial freedom update of my life and how it's going about six months into my financial freedom. Because I think just talking about it will actually help you prepare for your own financial freedom. Because it really does affect you mentally, physically, financially, and socially. Because a lot of people go through a sense of loss of self-worth. Because without daily structure in your life and social interaction, sometimes that turns into a form of stress which could also impact your physical health. In addition, even if you're pretty well off and you've done all the calculations, you might still have this lingering financial concern that maybe you haven't adequately planned or prepared enough. And that can also lead to stress and anxiety. So I'll tell you what I'm feeling and experiencing, and then I'll tell you some ways in which I'm changing my behavior. So the first thing I would say is, yeah, I'm about six months into this because I finished my video game project at the end of last year. And really, this has been the first six month time frame since I was 15 years old that I have not worked. And I would say I'm still in a little bit of a transition mentally as I figure out what's in the next chapter. And so some of the things I find myself doing are the following. One is I'm looking for new opportunities for learning. And a couple of things have come up to me. One is additional coursework around options. As you know, I'm interested in continuing to get better and better at planning, assessing, and executing options. And the second is just general coursework. There's additional coursework that I can do in my field that's online or even in person that I'm starting to check into. And just the mental challenge of that gets me excited. Another thing is just creating a brand new routine, which I think some of you have seen me do with working out. So just the act of planning out nutrition and going to the gym several times a week and meeting with my bodybuilder trainer is really helping me establish a brand new routine. Another thing that I've found myself doing is not being opposed to work, but really scrutinizing meaningful work. So even though I get numerous people reaching out to me every week on LinkedIn and other places, I'm using more stringent criteria on whether or not I feel like the work is meaningful. Because at this point, I'm not so interested in making a lot more money from active income. Rather, if I found the work profound and interesting, that would be more of the motivator for me at this point. I'm also looking into new social scenes. So that means meeting new people, going to new places, and trying to engage in new types of activities that I haven't done before simply because I haven't had the time. But all of that is interestingly taking effort, mental and emotional, which to me is an exciting thing because I love trying new things. And what I'm also finding is just being aware of my own choices. So I'm going to more comedy clubs, improv, and acting kinds of environments which is interesting because I used to have a big interest in doing that myself. I'm also taking the opportunity big time to travel more. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably noticed that I recently went overseas to Aruba and that's a place I had never been before. It was absolutely gorgeous and definitely a place I want to go back to. But travel is something that's really important to me and I can see over the next several years trying to plan out some significant trips every few months. I also want to make sure I maintain meaningful connections, and that's with people who have been in my life for a very long time. And again, if you follow me on X, you know that I have a solid group of long-term friendships. And so part of my goal with travel is also to maintain those relationships and spend more time with people I really love. The last two things I wanted to mention was I'm definitely getting more organized. And I started selling clothing, selling things throughout the house. And of course, you know, I sold my lake house recently, but I'm also wondering about maybe downsizing the house that I'm in and getting something a lot smaller and maybe easier to maintain. So maybe that's a product of retirement or maybe that's a product of just life in general right now, which is to really focus on health and community rather than the things that surround. And with that, I'll mention the last part which is I'm just really interested in making some kind of an impact. 
And to be honest, that's the whole reason for this channel, is that when I was thinking about retirement, I had nobody to teach me, nobody to fall back on, and nobody to ask questions to either. And so I'm hoping that in some small way, this channel is giving you a little bit of confidence, a little bit of vision, as I attempt to contribute directly to your life, as I try to inspire for example. But I'll also be looking for other ways to give back, either to this community or others. Because at the end of the day, giving back is something that I know really makes me happy. And so over the next six months, now that I'm starting to settle in, I think what you'll see from me is a little more action as I start to figure this out and start to put into play some of these new opportunities that I'm starting to find. So I hope that was helpful for you as you start thinking about and preparing for some of the unique challenges of having all of this time on your hands and maybe even help some of you who are already retired. Think about how to structure your thinking as you get used to your new sense of freedom. Let me know what you think in the comments. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this dividend income update. And if you want a richer real-time experience with me, you can always follow me on Instagram or X. And if you're doing your own research using Seeking Alpha, feel free to find the link below to subscribe if you want, no pressure. As always, I encourage you to do your own research, then implement and learn by putting it into practice. And as a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor, so keep in mind these videos are for entertainment and inspiration only. I'll see you on the flip side.